bit tired today. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do my best uh, to get this thing done. But like, we're gonna be do working on a uh, Turbo Express, aka uh, Turbo Graphics uh, system in a handheld or a PC Engine in a handheld system. But this one. Um, they have a lot of cool games, the Turbo Graphics uh, and the PC Engine has a pretty cool uh, shmups library and they have a bunch of unique systems uh, for it to play the games. And the crazy part is like, they use uh, hue cards for them too, like they look like the size of the credit cards. So what it is, it looks like little credit cards. And you could actually fit this in your wallet and everything. And so today we're just gonna try to uh, repair these. We're gonna repair these systems because they, they uh, tend to break down over time and they, they, they break easily. No, it's just somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. I got a shit ton of like uh, handhelds, like the Express handhelds, and they take time to work on. Um, these are not the easiest easiest system we'll work on because these systems are known um, to have a cap issue uh, cap issue on them, so they, they uh, tend to leak. And by time when you use these when you uh, play with the, when, when these uh, when you try to play with these systems like 20 years later, it smells like cat piss or well, rotten fish, as I could say. It. So like the systems don't work over time. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, for its time, it was pretty revolutionary. Like, like it was pretty groundbreaking because of the technology that it had. For it, sorry, I'm eating chocolate too. So, not sorry. So, there's six screws you want to remove over here. And these things tend to break uh, down over time. Uh, generally, sound, power, and image. Um, it's one of the like the more common failures. As soon as they start breaking down, if you, if you can't hear anything or if you can't uh, see an image, shut it off and and uh, have it recapped immediately. Why? Because if you're gonna let it sit for a while, the system, um, the cap's already leaking at that point. So like part, part of the, the if uh, part of the functionality is not working and so like that means that the cap's leaking or it's uh, dead at that point and so the, the the cap leaks will destroy the board I believe so um, it was a couple of bad caps that they were they were having um, this and the turbo duo are the worst uh, to work on as far as recap because when once the cap leaks everywhere it, it eats up the traces on the board and the hardest part is you can't find the tr it, it's really hard to find the traces on the board because everything's uh, all covered in it's an amazing system but uh, just just a uh, really really bad device to have like if it, if it once it breaks it breaks and you'll see a lot of these on eBay uh, being sold for like a ridiculous large amount of money um, make sure like you're gonna get them uh, broken uh, guaranteed or if it's recap make sure it's recap with the right caps like they're generally you want to have them recap with like Nichicon ones instead of the radio ones uh, just because you know it, it, it just because it just, if you want to do a mod in the, the future or something like a screen upgrade um, it sits in properly but let's get uh, let's show you the caps of what it looks like in order to get to the caps I'm not just taking part of taking this apart, and so there's two uh, sh shielding shield plates over here. Um, there's this back one and the front one. So in order to get uh, access the back, you have to access the front. But in order to access the front, you gotta access the back. If that makes <laughs> sense, which is kind of ridiculous for that price, you know, for a broken uh, TE. This one seems pretty okay, I guess. But for now, you know, we, before we start recapping, let's just remove all these screws so it doesn't cause any uh, strain on uh, this cue card ribbon right over here. Back then when I bought it, uh, I bought one that was like somewhat broken for a... Uh, for a... Uh, somewhat working for like 150 at the time. 
And now, this, mind you, this was like a couple of years ago. And now, nowadays, they're selling them for 300 uh, broken, $500 recap and shit, which is, is, is a lot of money, man. And I think one of the biggest things is a lot of the, the PC Engine stuff, uh, the handhelds isn't documented, like the rare systems, the more obscure uh, variations of the PC Engine is not well documented for as far as uh, just getting repairs down. Because it, it's kind of weird though, like there, there's a there's very weird community I guess. So let's get access to a... Uh, wow, everybody. That's crazy. Everybody's getting sucked. And so, one of the hardest things to do uh, for like repairs is working on a Turbo Express. I'll just wait till this player's over. <laughs> and so from here, this one actually looks pretty, somewhat clean. So in order to access the back of it, uh, let's uh, replace this tip over here. I have this uh, bent tip. We're going to use a different tip on it. I'm going to use a different tip on it. And so, so instead of using uh, this, where are you at? Uh, there you are. So instead of using uh, this tip, we're going to swap it out with like a, a, a longer one. So let's we'll remove this one. Fortunately, this thing doesn't, uh, it, it has like a shut off feature on my soldering iron, so I don't have to worry about, too, about it too much. So we'll just replace it with this one. So we need to remove this plate first, the front plate of the system, before we get to the back uh, of it. So, but in order to get it to the front, you have to remove it on the back side. So there's six points that you need to remove uh, the, the solder uh, over here. What, like you see these little dots here? Those needs to be desoldered, and then there's one over here that uh, NEC notoriously uh, just like they, they cover up with this uh, weird glue, I guess. Let me just get an exacto knife here. And just trim that out. It's very important to have for sure. So now over here, um, in order to access that, you just take your exacto knife just to get one of the, the points out and just cut a little corner of it and just get that out of the way and you see this point right there all right what you want to do is uh, you just get your uh, your soldering iron and then I would recommend using this tip because it, it's easier to access uh, the points eventually so just heat it up I want to see if there's if it smells like uh, rotten fish. Okay, so this is uh, still good, I guess. Uh, I, I got one of the luckier ones, I suppose, just to work on. Um, generally, when I heat things up, I, I instantly, I'll, I'll, I'll get the smell of like rotten fish uh, just hitting, hitting my uh, nose immediately. And that's how you know when, uh, when it definitely needs a recap at that point, when you're heating it up. Let's get, heat this point up here. You're going to be working with a lot of tight spaces with this one. Like at sometimes, you know, it's, it would be even hard to like remove this, uh, this part. So what you want to do is just take your, uh, your Saturn, the Saturn pump, hit, hit up these uh, points over here and then just remove, remove them. So this one over here in the corner, they could be really hard to reach. So. Just be careful when uh, when you decide them because it's easy to like uh, uh, mess up the other, burn the other points on it. Uh, let me get this uh, camera angle down right. So right there, okay. So it's a lot of hard hard to reach spots, and it's easy to burn up uh, the other the other side of the things. The, components around it so okay so that's that over here there's one a couple more where are we at here we are. 
that right over here. There's one over here too. Okay. And then there's one over here too. Yep. It is shiny indeed. And then this one over here in the corner. And then once you have that down, uh, you should be able to uh, remove this plate. Just try to like gently uh, pry it out. But if not, uh, we'll do the same method that we did yesterday. Like as soon when you get remove the solder, just gently just uh, peel off the uh, hold the edge of this part, with your finger, and just heat up the point so it just pops right out like like so. See, Put one over here, and then uh, run your finger over here carefully. And uh, heat up this point over here. Heat that up. I think that one's out. Okay. Heat this point up over here at the corner. Pop that out. That's out right there. Okay. So th this side is out. Tap the corner over here. Peel that out. And then this one over here in the corner, just peel this out too. Okay. And now you got the front plate off, all right? Now the next thing is uh, over here, you got, you got this uh, thing out of the way, all right? Now the next thing is we'll uh, try to get uh, remove the back plate now. Now again, there's uh, six other points over here. Um, you'll see these fat little dots over here. These are connected to the, to the back of the, the shielding. So you get your iron, just heat these up again. Heat those up just to uh, so you can mix in the, the new solder with the old one. Right over here, add that right there, and then right over here at the corner, there's the other one right here. Okay, about that all right so we uh oh, whoopsies so we, now that we got these points heated up uh, so we just take our uh, engineer soldering uh, solder sucker get your uh, iron put it there like that and let it suck there you go it's gone here next one over here I've disassembled so many of these. Uh, I've gotten this down by by uh, th got this down by science. Oh wait, this one is not good. I drinks it myself. <laughs> so right over here. Okay. Just remove that part. So the general behaviors that happen is uh, you'll get like no image, uh, no sound, or or the game doesn't even start up or anything. So. Again, these uh, systems generally break down over time. Uh, same thing with the game gears too. I think part of it uh, might might have contributed to it was probably probably the lamp on uh, on uh, the backlight system because like the the original handheld systems like the game gears and the Turbo Express, if you wanted that backlight ability, um, they had a lamp on it, and I think that produced a lot of heat as well. So that might have uh, caused a lot of stress on on the system too. Okay, so that's that. All right, so now that's gone, done. Uh, we'll do the same thing again. You just uh, hold on to the edges of it. Just peel this off carefully. There you go. Now this part over here, right here. Pop that off.
peel this off here. Where are we at? Oh, there you are. So just pop this off over here. And then right over here, I think the light's uh, shining again. Let me just lower up the down blinds a bit. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, shout out to Dingo for uh to Corel for hooking up uh the the subs. And now that we have this done, uh, we could actually have access uh to the system over here. This one, fortunately, is really really clean. Um, like to get access to this, it, it'd be pretty hard to uh, remove these caps. So there's a there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, pe let's see, people generally. Now this this one has a bit of a cap leak. It has this uh, brownish tint to it though, and so like people generally use like a hot air station, or you know, there's a couple ways to do it, or they like to use uh, the twist method, which is what I like to do, um, because if you do the twist method, you could potentially just rip out the the pads on this on these things, which you don't want to do. So what I generally do, um, as far as the twist method goes, let me show you. Well, not be, well, we won't be doing the hot air station method uh, today. So what I generally like to do is like, I'd like to pinch them, but I don't pull them out. So like, I, I just pinch them and then just push, uh, apply some pressure uh, downwards towards the board. And so what I do is just, just do that. And then eventually it just, uh, hold on. I don't, I don't pull on it. Don't, don't ever pull on it when you do this uh, twist method because if you twist it and then you, you pull it, you're going to wind up ripping it. So this happens, all right? Like you'll see this right here. The, the, it'll fall off eventually. So what you do over here, as you can see, whoa, is uh, there's a little bit of a leg over here left. Just get uh, some flush cutters over here. I use like a different flush cutter, like a finer, finer one uh, for this instead of this one. And then you just use uh, that and then just snip that part off right there. Like so. Oh, there is a bit of a cap leak right there. There's a cap leak right there. So. But if I heat it up, you're going to see all the doo-doo and all that stuff, which is nasty though. So with this one, these over here, I would uh, just take my uh, flush cutter, pinch it, and then push it downwards. Don't, don't pull. You pull. If you pull it, you're going to break it, all right? Just do it at the downward force on it, and then... There, boom, gone, all right? Next one, like for this one, I like to use a wide jaw uh, flush cutter instead of the, the tiny one. Get a grip on it, all right? And then just remove that. And now you're stuck with these two pads, I mean these uh, these uh, cap, uh, whatever it's called. I forgot what this part is called, this little thing here. You'll be stuck with those. So what you do is uh, take, take your little, uh, your micro cutter. Just try to pry that off. Now that the leg's gone, you can pry it off without without any problems. Okay. And you can see over here that uh, it's uh, definitely got its doo doo leaks over here. The cap leaks. Just pry that off. And you got that cap leak over here. All right. Now that you got this removed, you want to use your exacto over here, and then just carefully. There, be careful not to cut. Uh, there's a uh, inductor right over here. And so just follow this line. There's this outline that goes on the SMD caps. And you basically just take an X-Acto, just slice it down on it, okay? That's that. And then over here, hell no, fuck it. Like, I'm trying to be really careful not to uh, hit the edge of, uh, not to destroy the inductor. 
on it. This is like playing chicken over here. Whoops, big ass head in the way. And just take that and just trim, uh, trim off the the edge of it. That's that. All right. Okay. And now over here, I I want uh I want to uh get, get, get as close as possible. So that way, when I uh, when I add in the new caps, the new cap sizes are different though. Like it, it, you you'll need to get as much space as you can for the, these two parts over here. As, as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, the inductor right there. So I'm getting really close to the edge of the conductor. Um, you don't want to you don't want to hit the conduct uh, the in in inductor. Excuse me. You don't want to hit. Uh, uh, cut too deep in it because you you might uh, rip off uh, the coil the coil line. So we have this over here, right? Now this one, let's clean this up a little bit more. Okay, so that's that. Mm, doo doo. Th luckily, this isn't the bad part. When you heat it up, you could actually smell it, but. Let's uh, remove all these caps in the meantime. Um, so again, use a wide jaw for this thing. So that way you get a grip on it. Or if you want, um, you could just grab uh, one end of it and then grab the other one, the edge of this side, and just start removing it like that. Just just uh, twist, twist. Twist and then uh, do it at a down motion. You'll hear a snap at that point, and then once you hear the snap, you'll know that the the cap's been removed. There's another cap leak right over there too. Wow. And now this part here, I, I don't like using this uh, this drill because it, it doesn't uh, reach around it. These these are these are really risky because you want to use. Uh, a bigger jaw to cover them because if you don't, uh, you could potentially rip out the pads for those. And this is the power side of things. So grab that and just twist it off. I hear a snap. I feel a snap on it. So once that snap is off, just take that. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been hanging out with Nancy again? Has she been taking a shower? What have you been doing, man? Yeah, that's a lot of fluid, man. So this fluid is really bad uh, over time. It'll, it'll eat up everything around it, uh, like destroying the traces. So you want to avoid having that uh, in, on your uh, board. This is one of the main reasons why uh, the, the Turbo Express and the Game Gears were breaking down because of stuff like this, the, the caps itself. Um, the cap capacitors uh, aren't they the formula on it isn't uh, isn't well made and so by time uh, they just shit the bed and then you know next thing you know they the formula the stuff that goes in there just like breaks breaks down everything around it so oh thanks thanks to uh, GTR yeah for sure I, I love uh, want to do some modding and stuff like that so these two parts over here, these 33 uh, microfarads, these are the sound, um, the audio caps for it though. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm using a different uh, cutter now. Now, th now these are smaller, so I could use this, uh, this flush cutter. It's got like a medium uh, size jaw. Just peel that, uh, get that out. Pinch it and push it into downward motion. Don't, don't pull. Remember, if you pull, you're going to wind up ripping the pads, which you don't want to do. Because at that point, you're going to have to repatch them, uh, uh, repair them and patch them up. There's a couple of ways to do it. Again, you know, the, one of the other options is using a hot air station. But I would not recommend using a hot air station around here because there's a lot of other components. And there's plastic over here, too. Uh, you might melt them, and which would suck because, like, this is very important. Like, without this headphone jack, uh, the sound would go off, too. So just take that, pinch it. Like I've I've gone through a lot of frustrations working through these systems, and I'm sure uh, a couple of you guys that are here, uh, 
know what I'm talking about because like I've spent almost a week one time just fixing up this thing and I was just like pulling out my hair like what the fuck. So for sure, totally. So, but you know, yesterday was fine. It, it didn't, uh, nothing happened. You know, like the system was fine. So we just have that, and then it's twist, twist and shout. I don't know. You see all this lake over here. Uh, that's not good. Now this one over here, in the middle. Just use your medium size jaw. Just do that. I, I wouldn't want to use a hot air station too because like if the if the electric uh, electric fluid leaks around this part, it'll be hard to heat it up though. And like if you overheat it, the cap will pop. Where's the snap? Oh, there it is. I'm just trying to feel a snap like as I'm twisting it. Okay, so that's that. All right. So right over here, there's a 22. Oh, this one has uh, suffered some cap leak as well. So as you can see, this is uh, the cap leaking on it. Oh, wait, what, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Dirt. Uh, there is, but like, like when I'm doing, uh, when I'm using like a hand, uh, hand soldering, I mean, when I'm just soldering things, I don't want to use a hand pump, uh, if I'm working with like multiple ICs, but my hands are fine for the most case. Um, it's... I don't really get like arthritis. If you have like arthritis or something like that, or that sort of case, they do have like other flush cutters like these. Um, that's good, gentle on your hands, so like it doesn't uh, hurt your wrist or, or your joints or anything like that. Like when I'm when I'm uh, I think when I'm actually like drilling uh, metal or something, metal, my hand tends to wear out. So that's where I get like a lot of fatigue on it. On it, but this is fine though. Like I'm not really putting too much force into it. See, as you can see, there's more leaks over here. So I take this part over here. Just twist it. Let me pull out a diagram for, uh, for you guys after once I remove this thing, so I can show you guys what the, what the caps look like, where the cap maps look like. Oh gosh, this one, uh, this one looks really bad over here. Pretty brown. Yeah, so I guess this part over here is uh, gonna be pretty bad. Oh gosh, yeah, this is, uh, this part here is bad. So yeah, the longer, if you see that, the longer, the longer it sits, the long, it, it's gonna, the longer the cap leak sits, the longer it's gonna it's gonna corrode uh, the the pads over time or the traces around it, and then repairing it would be a, bit, a pain in the ass. Okay, and then we just take uh, this and just pop this off. As you can see, there's uh, most of it's been uh, removed. We just gotta remove this one. So what I'm going to do over here is just uh, take out, take the iron, heat it up, hopefully it doesn't smell. Just lift that off, whoops. There's no cap leaks here, which is good. It doesn't smell like rotten fish here. Pop that off, and then from here. Um, generally, what I like to do is uh, just to. What I like to do is just remove, uh, get some vinegar over here, and then neutralize these as soon as possible. Because that way, when I, when I. Uh, 
when I uh, remove, clean up the pads, it'll be a lot easier. Uh, you could, you could, uh, definitely can, but I don't uh, have an ultrasonic cleaner. So for here, I guess, let me heat up one for example. Like, as brown as this looks. You can see it bubbling up like, like it, it's going to be really hard to solder here. Oh god, now I smell it here. Yeah, so as you can see, that's the electrolytic fluid right there. Yeah, I smell it. Yeah, it's already hit. So you, that way, you know, like it, I, I would use the vinegar, as you can see. It, uh, it activates the cat leak, so it's gonna smell like shit. Uh, let me go get some uh, vinegar and uh, rinse this out real quick. So I have some vinegar over here, and so what I do is like I just take uh, the vinegar here and just scrub out this spot. It's gonna smell funky, but it's the best way to do it just to just to prevent it from uh, from uh, from continue from leaking. And so what I do is like I have this over here to stop it from being uh, from getting all contagious. And so what the vinegar does it uh, neutralizes uh, the the cap leaks um, caps. Our base, or like again, you know, it's like a base thing. And so vinegar is acid. So what it does, it just neutralizes all the cap leaks from uh, from destroying it, destroying the board. Spray it. But at the same time, I want to have like shiny pads uh, as well. It's gonna be really hard for me to uh, to add solder to it, to the pads if I don't uh, if I don't neutralize it. So just taking uh, vinegar helps. It'll be hard to solder once if you see like a cap leak like that. Uh, if it's already leaking, you can't add solder to it. Just gonna get like a big brown blob. So right there, finish it up. Over here too. Like you'll notice, uh, well, in certain cases, when I notice that the vinegar is kicking in, you'll see it bubbling up at that point. Uh, no, that's fine. It, I'll, I'll, I'll let it, it usually bubbles up, uh, like, you, know, you see like a, some, see like a little bubbling effect? That means there's uh, it, it's trying to, new, it's neutral, neutralizing uh, the, bit, the cap leaks right there. There you go. Oh god, my table's full of uh, vinegar now. Holy shit. <laughs> um, and now, there's another one, there's another part that you want to remove as well. The controller board uh, also has a cap as well. And you want to get rid of that as soon as possible before before it fucks up uh, the entire controller board. 
I had to replace a bunch of them. A uh, bunch. I had to replace them a bunch of times because it fucks up the carbon traces. Uh, once it leaks, uh, it fucks up the carbon traces on the signals, so it leaves the the controller board useless at that point. And you, at that, and from there, you'll need to find like a replacement uh, replacement board for it, though. I'll just leave this here for a side, uh, on the side, and then just work on this piece over here. Okay. All right. Now over here, this is uh, where the cap is at. It's only one cap on the controller board. All right. Just be careful when uh, when you're messing around with these carbon traces. They don't have any metal pads on them. So like once they're gone, they're gone. This one is surprisingly clean. Uh, I got a, a really lucky with this one. Okay. So from here, uh, you don't need to use any uh, uh, vinegar on that. This one seems uh, pretty legit. So be careful with the alcohol. Like apply it over here, where where uh, the pads are at. Don't oh, just try not to get it on the, the carbon uh, traces. Because the, the, the alcohol can wear that out at the time. Okay, that's done. Oh man, it's... Now that's done, alright? Let me pour the uh, vinegar out of the way. Once that's done, uh, you can take uh, some IPA and just clean it up. I like to have some sort of like you know shininess on the pads, so that way I could uh, actually remove remove the, the the remaining legs on them. Give it another coating. I usually when I do these, I, I give it like a really deep like scrub on them. Like they might as well take a bath because it's like it, it, it's dirty. Okay. Let's let it dry for a bit. Let me just clean up my table. It smells like uh, alcohol. It's funny. I, I buy vinegar not to cook with it, but just to uh, <laughs> just to uh, use it for uh, for uh, for this specifically. So I guess with even with like game gears or uh, turbo duos or anything like that, the secret of uh, just fixing them is just removing. Well, try to remove as much of the fluids as possible before you start anything else. Again, you don't want it to like spread anywhere else at that point. Down. Okay, let's put these away for now. Wonderful. All right. So I guess we could probably get, get this started. Now, from this point, it should be uh, easier for you to uh, to add solder. 
to the to the pads. There you go, much better. I'll probably give it another uh, scrub after this. But just right now, you want to remove these legs. Just heat them up and just remove them from there. Here. some residual but it's gone now cap leaks the bane of every uh, PCB's uh, death I guess not taken care of all right so I'm hitting the uh, as, as you can see there's a little bit of uh, the stuff left this could be uh, cleaned up easily afterwards over here just add uh, solder to it. Whoops. So, like I was mentioning, you could—it's uh, easy to uh, to uh, bridge the points. I mean, uh, heat up everything around you. So I I got the shielding down. So if you have a little bit of extra solder on that uh, added solder where the the shielding is at, just use a pump and just remove it. It makes, trust me, uh, using vinegar will make your life a lot easier if you're going to be doing, you know, if you have like, if you're encountering like cap leak issue. Okay, right over here. So these, there's uh, certain portions of uh, each cap. Each cap has, it serves a function on it. Um, this section over here, these two, are your images. Like if you're, uh, if these two part fail, like you won't be, you won't be able to see an image on it though. I've noticed like some people when I did some of the work like they've only recapped this a certain part of it You have to do the entire part uh, the entire board. Otherwise everything else will fail over time. So <clears throat> These two over here uh, powers up is the main power itself Okay Now this side over here these two are the audio uh, caps So this one over here, let's uh, be careful with this side, don't want to heat up anything else around it. Okay, use that, heat that up. And then heat this up. This, again, you want to be careful. Uh, you don't want to mess up the headphone jack. If you mess up the headphone jack, uh, replacing it, it will mess up the audio as well because surprisingly the, the audio jack is dependent on the, the system relies on the headphone jack for the audio which is so stupid I don't, I don't know why though and then this part here It's a cool little system once it's working, but once it's not, you're gonna be sitting there like, why? You'll be sitting there with like an expensive paperweight at, the, at that time. Okay, right here, just take this. Oh, uh, as you can see, uh, 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 the, the leaks has gotten there. And now, once this is done, we'll clean this up afterwards. At least this is, again, you know, it's not going to be too hard to clean up. We're going to have to swap out the tip. Uh, where are you at? Swap out the tip with like a regular chisel one. You just want to do a, a clean up on it with the, with the solder wick. Just pretend you're in a supermarket, you know, just uh, working in a supermarket, just mopping up uh, uh, spills. Take that out, pop this in, and then add tin, uh, tin up your tip. Remember, every time when you like remove it at the tip or uh, or adding a new tip in, like always tin it. That way, uh, you, you so it, it'll flow through a lot easier.
sorry. I mean, if it, if it, if the cap leaks were really bad, yes, you would uh you would let it sit for a while. Just let it sit for like you know five to ten minutes. But this one in this case is looks pretty good. There you go. So right over here, uh, let's uh, start mopping these up. Take uh, your iron over here. Oh, excuse me. Then just put apply uh, put your solder wick over there. Suck it all. Let it suck up on it. Now you're getting some sort of clean pads over here. Get this part here. Let let the wick uh, clean up the pads. And then if you uh, have uh, too much of it, what you do is just snip it off, and then snip it off, and then just add a uh, high heat over here, mop this down, it's done. Repeat with the other pads. Ow. Okay, add solder over here, heat this up, put the wick, uh, put your solder on top of the wick, like so, let's clean pads, and over here, same thing, just uh, apply the mop method. There's some cases, you know, like uh, with the, with the cap leak step, that's uh, eaten traces really deep. Like it, it's gotten to the, there's certain ones that I, I, I wasn't able to fix because it was so deep that, you know, like I, I wasn't able to find the traces, but not on the express, like on the duo itself, because there's a lot more to it. And it takes a lot of time just to find that one broken trace that's, that causes, uh, causes the system to break because of the fluid. Because even if you recap it, sometimes it's not guaranteed as well. If, uh, if it's deep. Okay, so we got this over here. Apply that over there, okay. Apply heat over here. Just mop it down. I like working with these bigger pads because it, it gives you more surface area to like, uh, dr to drag it. Pull, and then uh, heat, and then you could just pull with the thing like that, okay? See, nice and clean. And right over here, just add, uh, put your tip on top of it, just mop it. Okay. Here. That. This will be here too. Just mop it down. You wanna basically what, what I'm doing is like I, I wanna mop this down, uh, mop the pads down, uh, so I could prepare for the uh, for the surface mounted caps because you want it. You want these to sit on a flat surface once you uh, add them back in. You don't want them. Uh, 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 you know, the, you don't want to solder on the pads because it, it, it'll be, it won't be easy to uh, to have them sitting in properly. Like you want the caps to sit on a flat surface, thus surface mounted caps. Playing my music. The music's not going right now. Right, there you go. All right. So next up is right over here, this audio side of things.
Oh, whoops. Oh, there you go. Add that over here. Add this over here. Let's mop this up. Mop this guy up. Mop this here up. Keep mopping it up. You want a flat surface on it. When you when you uh, use the wick, you want to keep it as keep the pads flat as possible. And I think clean up. up oh, keep, just we'll clean this up uh, a little bit more. And I think over here we might have cleaned up everything over here. So right now you're just seeing like uh, some residual marks on it. Uh, you can take your IPA, get your toothbrush right here. Just uh, give it a good scrub again to remove the remaining residue. See, nice and shiny. That's uh, nice and clean right there. See, as you can see, the pads are nice and shiny. Like this is all, all, all this uh, adding like solder and then uh, removing it, uh, desoldering it uh, allows you to prep up for for uh, for the next set set of caps that you're going to be using. Like if you're going to adding a if you're going to add another set fresh a uh, fresh set of caps, it'll uh, be good. See, it's nice and clean. Word. Clean this shit up, nice and shiny. And then over here, let's clean this up too. So, like with the vinegar, also it helps. Uh, even though you get like all that brown stuff, it's easier to clean up because it breaks down uh, the, the cap leaks, and you're not gonna have a hard time working with them. But the only thing right now is my desk is going to be left with like a bunch of, it's going to be sticky as fuck once I'm done with it. Thank goodness I have this, uh, pa uh, this thing here. So looking at it, you got some, uh, really, uh, whoops, really shiny pads. See, nice and shiny and that's how you want to keep it as like when uh, when you're doing a recap keep it nice and shiny and free of any cap leaks there's a little bit over here but I'll remove that too so let me get uh, get my q-tip q here Toothbrush doesn't do it, just get that. See, get rid of all that uh, that doo doo leak over there. Keep it nice. And just go through each one, you know, just make sure that uh, it's uh, free of uh, free of the doo doos, free, free of the cat leaks. I, I just call them doo doo, I don't know why, I just love calling it doo doo leaks. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's see, let's just remove this part over here. And then here. Okay. So clean pads, awesome. Uh, let me go take a picture, and then we can start up, start on the next thing. Next up is let's uh, switch back, uh, switch this tip back to the other one, the big uh, bent tip that we had earlier, the curved tip or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's like two different ones. Like I there's I use a uh, I uh, use like two different uh, curved tips on them. 
Let's see where I'm trying to get a picture on it. Okay, yeah, I use like two different curve tips. This one I use, this one over here I use for uh, IC related stuff or like a tiny, uh, hard to reach spots. Like, but this one I use, you know, for uh, for caps like this. Gives me like a reach, even though you know, even though it has like a curved tip on him. Okay, so let's uh, start this up. So right now we're gonna. It comes with like a bunch of caps. Uh, I'll pull out a cap map for you. Let me pull out the Im image. So I will work on uh put it, I'll put an image over here. What it should look like. So here's the cap list. This is the cap list. Uh, goes with it. So right now we want to focus on uh, those gray ones that you see there. The hundred. Uh, uh, 100 microfarads. What I like to do is like I like to work from uh, from the biggest caps to the smallest ones because I can get them out of the way. And so we have these uh, three. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong view. Copy this. So we work. What we we're gonna be working on this part. So let's. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Peace. Right over here. Okay. Th these uh, 100 microfarads are going to go right over here. And th these are one of the harder ones to work with because uh, of the tight spot. What I generally like to do, let's uh, peel this off, peel this guy off. And then uh, just pop him in over here. So, what I generally like to do. It's like I like to uh, heat up one side of the pad first. Heat up one side of the pad first. But like if, I, if I'm doing, if I'm working with something like this that's hard to uh, solder, like a, I usually go for the hardest spot first before I do the easier one. So like what I do is heat up the thing over here a bit. And then this one here is really tricky. So you just keep this heat up, heat it up while the pads are uh, there and then use the hook tip and then just bend it down like so whoops and just basically just slide it in like so all right and you want to leave uh, some of the the pad the other side of the pad exposed and so you just do that and just heat up the other part of it okay and like that Make sure it's not going anywhere. And now over here, same thing, you know, you heat up one side of it just to tack it down. This is also 100 uh, microfarad, all right? And then you just take thing, that. Just, uh, you have a little leg over there, lead over there. Just take that, oops. You don't want to hold it too much, like you don't want to put your hand on the cap because it, it gets hot too and then you might burn your finger. So, and then from here, do the same thing over here. 
heat up that side. And now this thing isn't going anywhere, all right? So that's that. And now the other one, uh, the other gray one, you can see it's on uh, the top right of the, right here. This is the other power side of it. So again, you know, just take, uh, I guess, well, before I, yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. Before I do that, let's heat up this side here. Just, again, you know, just gently use the curved tip. This is why I mentioned, you know, it's best to use a curved tip because it, it's going to be hard to reach from there. And just apply heat, apply, apply use your solder, put a little bit of solder there. It's still moving. Okay, that's that's fine then, I suppose. And that's that, okay? Next up, uh, these two. Uh, those are the orange ones. They're also uh, 100 microfarads as well. But the voltage, uh, if you notice, the the gray ones are also 100, but the voltages are different. Um, it's uh, 16 volts on it. So the marking on this is, uh, you look at the beginning, how to tell if it's uh, higher or not. Um, you look at the beginning of it, uh, it says E. There's a guide for it. I I'll have to find that up uh, one day. Um, console 5 usually gives you these little cards like a guide to tell you uh, the lettering on it, uh, what the SMD uh, markings are, and like there's an indicator to tell you what the voltages are. Uh, par like if you look at this one carefully, this is a uh, 100 uh, microfarad, but it says uh, 16 volts on Oh, this is also 16 volts. Generally there's a marking over here that says uh, that gives you like a letter or something like that, like J. And whatnot that usually tells you uh, the, the the voltages as well. Sometimes they don't have them marked down. Sometimes they do. So, oh yeah. So back to that. Uh, these parts over here. These are the hundred uh, microfarads. What I would do over here is I would get to this spot first when I heat them up because that way you don't want to you don't want to you want to you know, like apply heat towards this end because. You, you don't want to do it afterwards uh, when you mount it down because if you do, um, you're going to be reaching it over and you're going to be burning this uh, headphone uh, jack over there. So, so once you have this down, I'm not going to tack it on yet. Just put this over here, and then uh, just let me get the other caps out of the way. Just so like you peel them off and just let them fly, fly all over the spot. Another thing is polarity too. I, I forgot to mention polarity. Um, so. Yesterday we were talking about polarity on it. Uh, make sure your polarity is right. Uh, as you as you saw yesterday, I mean, if you were there yesterday, you might have heard it pop. I had one of them mixed up, and that will blow up uh, the cap. It won't blow up the board, but it'll destroy the cap. Um, and SMD marking, uh, the little black spot over here, is the negative side of it. So that's where you have to like add the, the caps on, um, based on whatever orientation. Like follow the orientation on it, though. And make sure that you do do it properly. Otherwise, if you don't, you know you'll wind up destroying your cap. <sighs> okay. So what we do over here is uh, just apply heat again. You know, like keep keep the heat applied on this pad, and just slide it carefully to uh, wherever that uh, outline shows. It. Oh. I think I might have uh, done too much, but whatever, it's fine. And then from here, well, just keep it on in the box. Now, see, this is what I was saying. Like, I, now that I, I did a boo boo over here, I don't want to heat up the, the other side of it, though. All right, just keep it in the box. Like I heat, I kept the heat in too long on it, so it's it's the cap's already hot as is. And now once that's down, you already have this tacked down. Looks good, right? So uh, add solder on the other end of it, end of things. Put one over here and then one over here, just to uh, tack it down. Generally with SMD stuff, you want to use like a finer tip. You don't want to use a chisel tip or anything like that. Uh, it's gonna be harder for you to. Do it. To get the, the parts mounted down. Um, so the next part is now that we got these uh, two hundreds down, there's these other four orange spots we got to uh, take care of, right over here. 
the other 100 microfarads. So pop this over here. Thanks, uh, who was that? Oh, thank you, Sebastian. And then right over here, once that's done, um, let's put this over here, okay? Generally, even then, you know, like, um, with the footprints or whatever the, the, the what was outline, I forgot what it was called. Um, the outline of the, the, the caps, they usually give you, show you the orientation of where to go. And generally, if you look at the positive end of it, there's a marking on it. Uh, there's, there's a shape on it. You'll see that it looks like a, uh, a house, right? So the bottom side is always, is always a, it looks like a square. And then the, up, the top part looks like a roof. So that's where, the roof is the top part, obviously. It's, it's, well, that's how you think of it, though, I guess. How's it going, uh, Sebastian Pixie? But yeah, that's how you could tell by the orientation. Normally they have like uh, some prints over here that like some uh, masking, well, the, the markings that will show you where the positive and negative end is at. Okay, so right over here, this is a, uh, this is a uh, hundred as well, I think. Wait, yep, hundred, no, this is not a hundred, I lied. That is 22 uh, microfarad right over here. It's on the bottom, Is the bottom one is a hundred. Okay, so over here, you could use uh, you could use tweezers for them, but I, I'm so used to doing it by hand, uh, just using hand on it. Like if you don't want to burn your hand or something, there. What you would use uh, if you want to use a uh, SM, use it for uh, what kind of tweezers do you want to use? You want to use like a bent tip uh, tweezer, so that way you get like a better grip, and then it helps uh, helps with those hard to reach spots as well and then there you go that's uh that's that Oop, whoops tin your tip every time every time i do this so put this over here beat that up boom it's not going anywhere right cool now this one over here is 100 i've done so many of these again you know like i i, I remember them by heart much of it by heart. Heat up this point over here. Oh, I think I don't want to bridge this part. Reflection shining off. Uh, let me see. Okay, so this part here needs to be uh, tacked down. A little bit more solder. Tack that son of a bitch down. And, whoops, this one needs to stick. It's not sticking. Yeah, part of the thing is if you want to, you also want to make sure that uh, you remove the electrolytic fluid. Otherwise, uh, if you're trying to add solder to a pad that has uh, cap leaks on it, like the brown, st uh, the black stuff on it, I, it won't stick in properly. So make sure that your pads are clean. That way you, you can mount them down easily. So. so right over here. Hey, no pain, no gain, right? Shit. All right, so this one over here is 100. Okay, so this is uh, the other end over here. Now, just get feeding uh, your solder right here. And then now the all the 100 caps have been, uh, 100 microfarad caps have been uh, populated, all right? Next up is, a bunch more other caps. Next up is uh, 22 microfarad. Um, that is that teal looking thing right there. I'm gonna just mount this uh, negative end of it. And then just add a, uh, like 
that. And then just put solder here too. Okay. Good. Awesome. And then now there's a, this one here is also 22 microfarad, but this one is a smaller cap. It uses a smaller voltage as well. Sometimes you can't assume that you know by by looking at the cap size. Uh, it, it, well, you know generally by the cap size, it, it, it doesn't mean the voltage as well. So, so this one's a 22 microfarad right here. Now I guess on this end, I, I probably soldered at the wrong end of it, so I'll probably just use this over here. Get that down over here like that. And just add some solder here. Wonderful. And now there's uh, these two over here. This is a, uh, wait, there's one more over here. 10, 10, we put this 10 microfarad over here too. Which is that green uh, crap cap. Side that over there. From over here, these two over here are the images. They generally, uh, they, they tend to fail a lot on those. So like if your image is out, it's usually these uh, two culprits over here. Or if it's leaked, um, you gotta find the traces around this part, which is uh, something I'll probably have to get into one day, which is really, really difficult to tra track down sometimes. Okay, so right over here, This is the positive end of it, all right? Get up that pad. Now put a positive end of it. There you go. Positively on it. There you go. And, oh, fell off. Okay, I'll find it. Grab it later. Just fix this up. It's crazy, like how sometimes how the the cap is like the the, the legs that sticks out of it uh, isn't what it looks like. So it winds up looking crooked when you actually have it aligned properly. So the positive end over here is right over here. Is this part? Cool. I usually like to focus on the areas that are hard to uh, reach first because it'll be easier for you to attack, and then the other part of it. Um, you have all the space over here you can work with afterwards. It's like mopping the floor, you just work, uh, work, work towards, uh, the, the deep end first and, you know, you work it on the outside. Okay, make sure there's no, uh, bridge over there. Okay, that's good. And now, there's, uh, two... Two more uh, the surface mounted caps that we have to work on, focus on. 33 microfarads. Which is uh, the yellow ones. So positive end is over here. So I'll just work on that. Okay. Keep the pad up, slide uh, this thing in there. Right there, okay, and then uh, all right, that's good. Now one over here too. Add some uh, heat onto it. So line it properly. I think it looks aligned, right? No. No, the leg is off. Oop. Cool. And now that part is done. And then we're done with this part. Um, there's this 
470 microfarad uh, cap over here. So what you do is uh, feed, remember, feed the positive end, which is the longer leg, and then the, the negative side of it over here. Just bend it like that. And then from this side, Keep this end up, this end up. Now from here, let's get this away. That's done. Okay, so what it looks like overall. That's uh, the recap. Nice and clean. Okay. I will take. Oh, thank you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm I'm enjoying it. Doing great. You know, I just finished uh, recapping this uh, end of the board. Looks good. So you'll see all these pictures on my social media, uh, through Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, all, all that sort of thing through the feed. Uh, generally posted work of all the work done, so you could actually see what you're getting, and so that you could uh, actually you know know that I, I could actually get this thing done for you. All right. So, all right. So that's done. Um, next up is getting uh, this controller board down. So from here. You just feed uh, this 47 microfarad, it's a positive end right here, right? Just feed that over here and over here. So again, okay. Now just bend that part. And then... Crush it here, right? Just uh, heat that part up. Wonderful. Okay, cool. And now this part is here is done. We could uh, just do a, a little test run. I'm not gonna put the shielding back because uh, after this, I'll, I need to do a little bit more more work on uh, do, adding the caps. All right, uh, clearing up the uh, you know there's some preparation in order to do it. So for now, we'll just put this back as is and just give it a, uh, just test it out. I, no, I won't even screw this in. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, uh, whatever. Okay. That's that. So once we get this up and running, I, I will take a uh, a, a good uh. 20 minute break. I need to get some dinner first and I'll continue. <laughs> no, we did the GameCube earlier. Just finished up the GameCube and stuff. Not too, like about an hour ago. So, so you guys, if you want, you know, just stick around for a bit uh, after I finish this. I'll test it out, show you guys and show you the difference afterwards. So just put this over here. Just close this up. Well, just to mount this down. Put this back together. Again, I'm not too worried about the shielding. I won't put these stuff back. I just wanted to like have uh, just to give it a test before I start work going on to the next thing. Okay, let's pop this uh, back over here. screws over here. There's only three screws uh, to mount this down. So one, let's put this headphone back, thing back, speaker thing back. I'll probably just do one for now, I think. Yeah, one is fine. No, let's do two. Fuck it. So let's, uh, so I can actually show you what's going on. 
And then it's this one I won't have to worry about it too much, I guess. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> All right. So just uh, put your uh, screen over here. This is your screen ribbon. This is your controller and sound input ribbon over here. And then this uh, little back piece over here, this thing dangling over here, that's your backlight right there. So it goes right over here on the top, uh, on the right, uh, center right. But th this other, that other ribbon that you saw, I didn't need to see it because that goes into the TV out over here. It goes into TV out over here, so. Uh, let's uh, get a car supply for the safe. Got a good game out here. Since this is a US one, pop uh, blazing star, or bla blazing lasers. Now it's back in, up and running in working order. Let me show you to you. Microphone side. On the microscope side. So this is the screen. It looks mad funky. So up and running. The screen back then, during its time, it's, uh, it was considered really good, but nowadays, it just looks like ass, so. Now in a few, in a few, uh, I'm gonna go, oh wow, that is loud, holy shit. Yeah, the sound is amazing on uh, on uh, on uh, this. It has like this hexagon hexagon. If you look at the the dots on it, the scan lines or whatever it's called, it has like this hexagon hexagon looking uh, scan line thing. So. I will. I uh, hope you guys don't mind, you know, you guys can check this out for a bit. I'm gonna go eat real quick. I, I have to make some dinner, okay? So before I start uh, passing out and shit like that.
unless you if you want, I can put a different game so you guys can check it out uh, while I, while I make some food. I'll put something cool. Put up twenty games. Exciting times, man. And that's how uh, you repair uh, uh, the Turbo Express. Fortunately, uh, this one I, I, I you know, I was uh, able to get it out of time. So just give me about 20 minutes, guys. I, I just want to go eat first, alright? Please. Uh, you guys could check it out, you know. Um, just bear with me.
Yeah, it's uh, been crazy, man. So. Just bear with me, I gotta make some ramen noodles. Best brand in the world, by the way. I love ramen noodles. <laughs> Spring drop? No. Oh yeah, there it is. It has like a sleep mode on it. It pop in another game as it's uh, as the water's coming up. I'll put in another game. Uh, what other games do you want to see? Got this uh, good old EverDrive right here. Pop everything up. Oh, see now you can actually see how uh, how it was back then, like just for the clarity. Oh, that's not bad. It's actually a pretty good deal. So let's uh, do something stupid here. Put. Ducktails uh, on on a Turbo Express. Oh, they, this is gonna last you. Since I'm using Nichicon caps, this will last you for like another thirty-five to forty years. Thirty, forty years. It's it's uh, it's really high quality caps. And once uh, the life expectancy of these caps dies, it just dries up. It won't like fart all uh, you know fart everywhere. So. You got a long ass well for them, so they're not going anywhere. Like even if they die, they just dry up at that point. It's, it's funny, it's like running a Nintendo port on this thing. Alright, I'm gonna go check on my water real quick. McWill. McWill is the best thing to go for right now uh, for screens. No, 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 I don't want this one. See, there, there's like some ghosting effect as you can see. Uh, that's the uh, thing with these screens. They, they... Yeah, uh, same here. I'll probably be here for like 20 years later, dude.
think this one is pretty cool too. I actually like this uh, skating here.
episode. All right, I'm ready to punch some dicks. Let's get let's get in here. Let's get the shit started. So yeah, after this, uh, this works out well. Oh, let me find my uh, cigarette. Real quick. So now that this is done, let's uh, move on to the next thing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so, so as you can see, you know, this is uh, the screen on it. Um, we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing a uh, composite screen mod on it, and this is uh, one of the harder things to do. Um, if you don't have the the experience to do it. Show you guys how the composite mod works. Mm, where is my uh, ribbon alcohol? Ribbon alcohol. Uh, where? Are you? I had it somewhere. I was trying to find my cap, but I uh, lost my cap somewhere. Hello, Mr. Cap, where are you at? Okay, so from here, we're gonna have to do the, the screen. Let me try to find the cap first. That's whatever. I I have my cap. Give me one second, guys, I'm sorry. All right, so from here, I lost my cap for the for the bottle of alcohol, the rubbing alcohol. God damn it! Probably misplaced it. I'll find it afterwards. So from here, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go start a, a screen screen mod. So what you're gonna do over here uh, is a couple of things. Um, you're gonna have to uh, remove this original screen here, the stock screen. It's uh, no longer going to be in your life, and this thing is uh, it was good for its time, but nowadays it's it's a battery drainer, and the picture isn't that great. So what you want to do is just remove all these screws over here, and take this apart. What we're going to do is just upgrade this with a bigger screen. So just take off all these screws. Remove completely everything from here. Because next step is we're just gonna use uh we're gonna be uh, taking this apart and then we're gonna be cutting the housing on it to uh to fit in the larger screen. Right over here, and then take this over here. Just pop this out. Let's remove the screen. Uh, this will no longer be in your life. Straight up a screw. Get this out of your life. Remove this over here. Get this over here. Uh, get these screws out. Now get put the control board on the side. I don't know where the hell I put. Oh, there it is. Ah, I found my cap. I needed my cap for, for my alcohol. I don't want it to evaporate. Oh, wait. Where the fuck did I? Oh. It's funny. My grandma told me, uh, you know, because like sometimes I like I have things all over the place and I just become forgetful. Like my grandma told me uh, uh, when I was a kid. She was like, if your balls weren't stable to you, you lose them, man. And <laughs> it just stuck by me. It's like some sort of like a omen <laughs> or epitaph. Or, well, not an epitaph, but like some sort of thing that just stuck by me, you know. <laughs> so 
So just take all this stuff apart. You don't need all this stuff anymore. And so right over here, this part of the screen over here, you want to take a, just pop it off like so. Like that. You're not going to be using uh, the screen anymore. So, con so once you got this thing off, you need to do a couple of trims over here. On this part over here, you want to, we're going to put in a uh, LCD bracket in the screen. So over here, we're going to have to uh, do some trimming over here. So this part over here, this uh, post over here, just remove this out of your life, all right? You don't need that. But over here, you want to cut halfway through. Oh, halfway through onto it, but enough to like maintain, uh, keep the post there, so you could screw it in. Just like trim it down with a flush cutter, but be very, very careful with it because you might damage it. So, let's see. right there it's uh somewhat trimmed but it needs to be trimmed a lot more on it okay trim that part off and then uh, use uh the flush cutters as well over here to do the same thing whoops Just reach in the very bottom like so okay and you get some sort of edge over here This part here will be fine. I don't want to put too much stress on it because it looks like it's about to crack at that point. So, like halfway through. All right, there you go. Just want to trim the, the post like, oh wait, this pre too. Let's trim that off a bit. All right, cool. Uh, reason why I say, you know, just to trim it halfway through, you're gonna need it though. Yep, this is uh, the hard part. And this is the tricky part because everybody gets scared about this, okay? And so this is a uh, part where collectors are, you know, are gonna start crying somewhere. It's not mint anymore, man. No. Oh well, it, it's gonna have a better, uh, better screen though. That's that's for sure. driver kit in a few but first we got to mount the screen down so I have this uh, where is it at I, I have it here somewhere Just uh, putting uh, this new bracket over here. That's going to be uh, used event on this uh, new screen, and then add not only that. Whoops, wrong one. Put in a new glass screen as well, so find this over here. Let's see, I'm gonna upgrade it with like the larger screen over here. Next. 
just gotta find that. Uh, I have this cutting guide here somewhere. I just gotta remember where, where the fuck I put it at. Okay, this is fine, I guess. Yes. Yes, it is, uh, John. Yeah, it's my full-time thing. I do this as a full-time thing. I, I've taken uh, orders for mods and stuff uh, to mod and, you know, work on a, a bunch of different different uh, uh, systems. So, as you can see, I have like, this little LCD uh, frame over here. Give me one second, uh, Ready knows uh, too much hot sauce. Alright, so, sorry, sorry about going back and forth. Right. So right over here, um, you, you want to take your exact exacto knife and then uh, just run a line on it. To just uh, run, just to score a line over here. Score that line right there. Yeah, I figured why not? I'll just stream it or something, just for shit and giggles. Take this over here, score it. Okay. Like, you can grab these kits uh, from Console 5. If you look for uh, Turbo Express, you'll, you'll see it and stuff. So let's do a rough estimate right here. So we have a line scored over here. Let's take this out, put this on the side. Put this away, put this away. So right over here, you see there's a line that I score. Okay, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the outline that's gonna be cut out to upgrade the new screen on it. What I'm gonna use is this Dremel kit and just uh, get a blade and just cut it from there. I'll try to see if I can get a good angle on this. This might be hard for me to capture on uh, on. on uh, on stream, might be tricky. It's not. It's not hard, but it might be tricky though. I guess I'll probably try to do it over here um, if I can, so you can actually see what it looks like. Some gummy bears uh, just hold me down. So what I like to use, I don't use this. Uh, dre I have this Dremel over here, but but what I use is a uh, an extension rotary tool for it. So it gives me more, more control of what I need to uh, cut. Because this is kind of stiff. Like you're working with this really big uh, piece over here. Let me get the. Change this over here. And then we'll just no, not crush out. So right over here, I have a focus, focus. Yeah. So I have this. Uh, this is the base right here. All right. But I have uh, this rotary uh, extension over here. It'll help. It'll help me uh, work on it easier. So what I'm gonna do over here is just run this over here, connect it. And then use one of these bits, uh, this uh, blade cutting bit over here. Uh, it'll help help me uh, cut this off. So what I'm gonna do is just put, do this.
And just try to cut this uh, as best as possible. Hopefully you guys can see it. I mean, let me know. All right. After that, just grab this over here. Tighten this up a bit. Just press the button to tighten it up a bit. Then from here, let's get the garbage can as well. Whoa, sorry. So right over here, just gonna try to cut the line. Beautiful. Yeah, I probably just bumped into it by accident. Uh, it should be good there. So right now, I think I got the cut down. Um, so the cut here, I better get the cut down. If not, I, I have a very expensive mistake right there. So this is all good. So what you do is just take that out and just uh, peel off uh, the existing part of it. So it's uh, nice and cut right there, as you can see. Um, I got the rough shape down, but there's it like if you heat it up, if you uh, cut the uh, cut the plastic, you, you'll have these uh, uh, plastic bits that heats up. So what I do is like I try to like peel them off at, there, at that point. This is only the fine. Uh, this only a rough cut here, and so. Let me uh, chuck this out too. I don't need this anymore. That I still need. This I don't need. Well, no, I still need this actually. A few. Um, you have like a, a rough cut on it though. See? Now, just to uh, re uh, clean up the, 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 the cut over here, I would use a filer. Um, I have a different type of filer. I, I collect filers. Uh, well, I, I don't collect them. My dad does. And so he's like a jeweler. So like I, I just uh, picked up a bunch of them. I was like, yo, let me see those real quick. And yeah. Let me put this away first, and I'll uh, work on the next thing. Just file that off. I'll just put this stuff first. One mess. I hate when this part happens, like uh, the grease just, uh, like, there's mad grease on it. That's whatever.
All right. No, he, he was like, he was cool with it. He didn't mind. My pops was cool with it. Because uh, he, he used to work from home uh, occasionally, but not anymore. All right, so what we have to do, oh, let me put on, what we have to do is put on some uh, more music. Uh, just take a file or something. I have like two types of filer and just try to like even out the, the shape Even out the shape of uh, this the system Let's Try to see if we get it God damn it Focus. There you go. And so, just try to file this out as much as possible. Let's try to see if I can move this base right there. File this out. I, I, hey, I like my house music, all right? I mean, I'm like, what do you want? Video game music or what? Like, anime music? I, I, I totally don't know, but you know, I, I like house music. music. So what I'm doing now is just trying to like clean off the, the rough edges on it. Trying to make it nice and smooth. Like I, I don't know, I like lo-fi hip, uh, lo-fi house, uh, lo-fi hip hop or whatever. PC calm. You know what's really good uh, music? Uh, I, I realized like shmup music, it, it keeps you to focus. Like they purposely made make those type of music so you could actually focus on the bullets. So that way, you know, you, you, you actually know where you're going at that point. Shmup music keeps you uh, on your toes. edge off here like what I like to do is just use there's like excess uh, bits over here like when I file what I like to do is just use a tip and just peel them off the tip of the file and uh, file and just peel it off so it don't leaves like you know that flake or whatever you want to call it So file this down uh, enough where it accommodates both the glass screen, the the glass lens, and the LCD screen itself. So we have something like uh, like this so far. 
starting to take shape. You know, just refine uh, the edges on, on it. So I have this one to like uh, refine the edges. See all this uh, flake here uh, towards the edge. What I just like to use is just use the tip and then just remove all that excess stuff here. Okay, let me uh, get the alcohol wipe and just clean that up. It should look uh, a lot cleaner than before. Look at the old grid. Looks a lot cleaner than before we uh, we did the rough cut. So from here, just uh, wipe it down. Wipe it down because you don't want uh, when you apply the the lens on it, you don't want any uh, dust. And I and I feel like that's the hardest part for me. I hate I hate uh, uh, applying a glass lens the, the this glass screen down. Next thing you know, there's like a piece of dust, and you're like fuck. It ruins everything. <laughs> so just wipe this down, clean this up. Oh, there's a little bit more of this, uh, this uh, flake or whatever you want to call it. So clean that off. And then over here on the edge, just uh, wipe this down. Clean this off too. Scrape that off. this uh, edge off too sometimes they could get they could get stubborn these edges like like it, it, it'll it'll uh, cause uh, some issues when you uh, try to mount the screen down I think Here needs to be cleaned up. I think uh, at this point, I figured I got it as close as possible to whatever the, the guide looks like. And this should be fine from here, I guess. Um, ooh, whoops. So when you apply the screen on, I'm just gonna use the middle part. I'm not gonna well, put it in completely. Oh yeah, for sure, totally. Thank you. Yeah, th I figured. You know, this is uh, really, really good to have too. So if you apply the screen down, would there be uh, anything, uh, any piece down? I think that is a really clean cut. We can't see the, the screen. The bezel's there. Uh, no no uh, plastic is protruding. So I think you're ready to uh, to mount the screen at this point. Yeah. 
there, let's grab one of these uh, screens. Got a whole bunch of these screens from uh, console 5. You need to know where to get the kits at. Keep this in nice clean area and free of dust. Let me just clean up the surface here. It looks like a mess at the moment. Before I start anything else. I'll probably just upload these on YouTube uh, later on. Son of a bitch down, clean it up again. Put this thing away so I can use it another day. Yeah, I want to keep this as dust free as possible because like when I apply the 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 lens and everything I don't want that to uh show up randomly on the screen. Let's wipe this shit down completely. Yeah, I, I usually try to archive uh all, all my uh VODs after they're done and just export them over to YouTube or something. It's uh, it's gonna be uncut, you know, like unedited, of course. Like I, I, I don't know, I don't think I have that time to edit, as is. But you could actually see, you know, like the full guide if you want to, like pass through it. You know, just, just skip through it. But I generally just upload my stuff. If you want to learn how to do this thing. I might need like a, a, a video editor one day. We'll see, you know, how, how this goes. Okay, so with this um, part, you can get this nice little LCD screen bracket from uh, Console 5. And it lays out everything pretty nicely. Um, he has this first, this uh, 3D printed kit that goes with it. It's uh, good for uh, mounting your LCD screen. Let me, uh, let me so let's see. All right, cool. So, pretty guy. No, I don't have any LCD uh, RGB DRVs. It's getting a composite mod. Uh, I haven't got any RGB DRVs in a minute. Um, it's been about, I guess, almost half a year. But when they restock, I will try to get as much as possible uh, from them. Because I know that they are extremely hard to obtain. 
And, you know, once they, they have it, they have it. If they don't, they're kind of fucked at that. Well, not really fucked, but, you know, this is the best option, second best option to go for at the moment. Hey, what's up? Uh, just uh, doing a, you know, a composite screen mod right now. You know, just those people just talking shit, you know. Hanging out, talking shit and stuff. Well, I just made the talking shit. Nobody, just, everybody's just looking at me just to work, I guess. So, ah, uh, okay. So we, so first thing first, put your uh, speaker like so. But like, you want to put it, uh, put the the wire like at a. Uh, At six o'clock. Six o'clock. Put it at six o'clock, and once you have that down, mount it down. It does. Uh, I I uh, I rather prefer you know uh, still prefer doing it on the floor. It does. I definitely have a lot of room now just to work on, which I'm fortunate enough. Appreciate it. So that's that. Okay. Reason why you want to mount it down to six o'clock where the ribbon's at, is because remember the thing I was just telling you about. You could just mount mount this uh, piece over here, this uh, bracket that you see over here. All right, thank you, thank you for the bits. Uh, just mount this bracket over here, and then once you have that down, it makes. It makes it a lot easier uh, to put the screen in. Um, I mean, back then at one point, people like had to uh, high glue it down. Had to high glue this thing down. So, so what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna take one of the LCD screens. It's called a universal uh, on his site. It's called a universal uh, composite screen module thing. Screen module thing. Not. I don't know. But yeah, okay, so take the screen. I don't generally, I don't want to peel, peel off the film first. Just take off the silly silicone thing. Peel, uh, just so it doesn't catch any dust. So what I do is just like, I, I uh, put the, the tab over here. And just let it sit there like that, okay? It should, I should be able to uh, remove it from here now that I put that space in there. And now from here, this uh, console 5 thing, you want to put it on top of uh, these posts that you have over here. And with the screws that you uh, took from the screen, <clears throat> uh, these little silver screws over here, just screw them back in over here at these uh, three, three posts that you have. Okay, that mounts the first one down over here. Oh, nice! I could definitely do. Uh, I could do those. You could do those too. They they're not too bad. Um, but just the drilling and cutting part is not too bad. So yeah, totally, totally. Okay. Now this one here, I gotta mount down properly. I think I I, I did a weird cut on this one, but over here, okay. And now the last one is, you have another uh, uh, post over here. Now generally this uh, this bracket here is meant for the uh, LCD uh, RGB DRV or like the, yeah, the RGB DRV or the regular LCD D, uh, DRV. Um, you you normally just put, slap the driver board over here, but now the, since there's a ribbon on this uh, board that's getting in the way, um, what I would just use is get some uh, automotive tape. This thing is uh, does wonders. So it's some 3M automotive tape. The stuff is uh, pretty strong. Let me uh, get. pretty sticky the stuff here is pretty sticky so just 
trim a little bit off of here. Apply some uh, right over here, I guess. And then the rest over here on the edges as well, so. Oh, cool. oh, whoa. And then you just align this to the edge over here. Okay. And then once you're done with that, just take a. This over here. Try to peel this off. Ah, there you go. Peel that off. This sort of tape is really, really sticky. It's really good for uh, for uh, applying stuff like this. Come on. There you go. And then from here, just take your uh, thing, stick it in there like so. Okay? The shit ain't going nowhere now. And this is a better solution than using a uh, hot glue what people used uh, back then, again. Okay. Now you have this part over here. This screen is uh, nice. Uh, let me... No, at this point, you're ready to apply the screen, but just make sure that it's uh, free of dust and all that stuff. Don't want to have any dust in there. No, those... Uh, And generally this is not my favorite part, like I hate doing this part here. It's my least favorite part of, uh, of the install. Now once you're ready over here, gently just lift this up. And make sure there's no dust in it though. Try not to get smudges or anything like that in there. Uh, I hate doing this part though, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, like that, okay? God damn it, uh, I'll, I'll have to remove it and clean it up. Yeah, for the most part, it's really nice and clean. But it's just uh, outside dust. But you know, like there's a little mini dust in there. Uh, I try to get as much as out as possible, but I can only do so much on it. Let me, uh, let me take a picture of this real quick.
part. Okay. Yeah, I, I wish I had that ah, dusty room. Yeah, I mean, my old crib I had... Oh my god, is it... Oh, fuck my life. Alright, hold on. It just happened just now. Fucking A. I hate the dust. Like, when you think you got all the dust in the world... Nope, it's still there. Fucking A, man. I hate, I hate dust. You get, get rid of the shit. Yeah, the dust is like like annoying to have. Like if, especially if you're doing like a screen mod, you do everything else and then you know that's like the biggest turnoff for some people. Try not to mess this up. Try to apply this back carefully. Ah, man, more dust. All right, so give me a few. I'm gonna to have to. Uh... One fucking piece of stuff. Oh okay, yeah. Wait, right, one second. Alright, awesome. Fuck it. Fuck yeah. Oh man, shit is annoying to deal with. Yeah, those are the ones like if you if you uh if you're using those IPS screens, this is, these are the same type of uh tape that are used on IPS screens. And like once you apply those IPS screens uh with that tape, that shit's not coming out. And if you do want to remove it, you're gonna have to break it though, unfortunately. That is exactly it, dude. Yeah, that shit is no joke, man. But it's like if you miss that miss, if you miss that alignment, or if you get some uh, sort of dust in there. You're pretty much fucked at that point. I feel like that's the hardest part of the mod, you know. This is the the just getting the the, the thing down properly. <laughs> Shit drives me insane sometimes. Okay, I got it. Okay, that's good. That's a lot better. That's much better. Much better. Okay. Otherwise, I should have drive me fucking insane. Alright, sorry about the cursing. Like, there's no way to take those off. I mean, it's great for tape, but it's uh, it's horrible for uh, for removing it. So you better make it right the first time. Make sure you get it right the first time. OK, 
Okay, now this part is done. Uh, let's put this back together. Put these buttons back together. So yeah, if you wanted to uh, grab uh, the grab the, the kit, the bracket kit to uh, to make the perfect uh, cut for it, just get them from Console Five. They, it, it'll come with a guide, so you could actually uh, measure it and then use a Dremel with that uh, that that uh, blade that wheel, you know, the blade cutter I just had, and then you could just work from there. What do you mean, like, uh, as far as a good, uh, surprise that the glass, the glass screens don't have the cover like the Game Gear ones. Alright, what? I am not sure what you mean on that one. Okay, screw this back in. Ah! Uh, I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this one I I, I did have it though. The the one I I, I got. Okay, so we have this over here. Screw that in, and then voila, nice, you got a big ass screen now, nice and clean. And as, you, as you look, you know, it covers up, uh, you can't see the, the edges of, uh, of uh, the cut. Fresh cut. Put this over here, just for a picture. Another fun, another fun project here. This isn't as bad as uh, oh. I have, I don't have any issues working on this. I, I feel more comfortable working on uh, working with uh. Thank you, thank you, ladies, bro. Thank you for subscribing. So this part here, uh, it, it's for me, it's not the hardest. I like doing this part over here, but for everybody else, they, they're gonna wind up hating it, hating life doing this part. Um, basically, what I'm gonna be doing is installing the composite screen mod, doing the, the composite screen driver, and in, in order to enable composite video uh, for this. Uh, Board itself, you need to lift up a bunch of pins on the Hue 62 uh, two, Hue 6260 chip. And I know that could be very intimidating for a lot of people because uh, you could potentially break uh, potentially break uh, the, the the legs off of it. Oh yeah, my other drives in there too. There. Put this. Put that back over there. So you potentially rip the. We're gonna be focusing on this chip. God damn, such a mess. Uh, 
we will need to use if I can find my knife. Oh, there it is. Just here. We will need to use a uh, fine tip uh, for this, like a bent tip for this. We're going to be installing uh, this guy's uh, board from TG16 PC mods. This is one of the hardest things to do for some people. For, 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 for me, I'm used to it. So basically what we're going to do is just uh, uh, lift a bunch of pins and then uh, and then from here, we're going to mount them uh, to these uh, copper pads that you see over here. All right, take care. Uh, thanks again, man. All right, so over here, just got to peel off the sticker. Let me uh, get a better view on this. I don't want the... Oh, whoopsies. So right over here, I uh, just want to peel off this uh, tape on the side. And just put it right on top over here. So like, like that, you're required to lift a bunch of uh, pins on the Hue 6260 chip, which is the video chip on it. And so there's a couple of points you want to focus on, uh, 19, 20, 25, 26, 29, uh, 30, 32, 33, 39, and 40. So, So nine, nine pins you got left. So what you do is uh, you take, oh wait, my thing is uh, out, uh, shut down already again. You wanna take a, a bent tip over here, small bent tip. Uh, let me reposition this, it's not the way I want it to be. Uh, Okay, this is good. Yep. So what you want to do is uh, get some flux for this type of job, and then just focus on uh, pin. 18 and 19. Did I get this line properly? Yeah, you don't want to mess up the alignment either, so make sure that you get it down right. Where is it? 19 and 20. Let me let me double check the guide again. I have the guide here somewhere. This is a lot more complicated than the than the the RGB DRV mod. Way more complicated. Yeah, 19 and 20, right. I have it right. I got, I got it right. So you take a 19 and 20, so which is right over here. And just turn it up a little bit, you know, just to heat it up a little bit. And then you take a, your X-Acto knife over here so this is like a little bit of an uh, an advanced uh, install here just pop that out just lift it up like that like so and now we got some space on this this one needs a uh, get rid of this image Yes. You want to lift this up over here, 
and then take that pin right there and just place it like that, like so. We uh, get a better image on that. So from here, get some side over here. You like mount that, mount that uh, down. So let that stay down there. Okay. I'll take this uh, other pin that's next to it, uh, pin twenty. Uh, uh, where are you at? Pin twenty over here. Do the same thing, apply heat using the tip, and then uh, use your exacto to just lift it off from there. Okay. And then from there, I'm not gonna try to put too much uh, stress on the, the vent tip because it'll damage it if I, uh, if I try to use force on it. Okay, so right over here, Put this part up. And then do the same thing, just like try to carefully bend it over. And apply a little bit of flux on it. Mount that down. Apply heat, mount it down, and like set like that, uh, it's uh, mounted there. So over here, same thing, 25 and 26 over here. Okay. Just get a, a smack of, uh, just a smidget of uh, solder. Just to get those uh, legs heated up high pressure to it. Oh, let me use the exacto again, sorry. It's popping off as you can see over here, which is uh, kind of dangerous now right here. I think, whoa. Is, uh, I don't like how that thing is. Uh, it's scary. That this is a uh, because like the stress is putting up. It's getting put onto the, those legs right there. So you just bend it here a bit, okay? Bend it here a bit. Just apply solder. Uh, same thing, just apply some solder onto it. Now as far as this, I, I feel like I need to tack this down as well. I, I don't like this, how this is going right now. It's uh, kind of scary. Okay, so... So we apply some heat over here on this uh, other end of the leg. It's like flying all over the place right now, which is not cool. Okay, cool. And now, with this side of it, just get this uh, thing down over here.
Okay. That leg is uh, tacked down onto a... Uh, tacked onto uh, this board right now. It's not going anywhere now. Okay, now this is done over here, uh, now this side is grounded down, so now that's done. Um, we're going to focus on uh, the remaining four legs we got, well five legs, five more legs to go on it. So from here, just uh, take pin 26 over here. Lift that up too, gently. Twenty nine over here. Is it twenty nine? I think it's twenty nine. Let me double check because I don't want to get the wrong pin and then mess it up. Yeah, 29. That looks right. 27, I mean 27, 28, 29. So it's right over here. So gently just uh, apply some heat on the bottom of the leg. Don't want to mess up the tip again. Again, don't want to put too much force on uh, the tip, otherwise they'll damage it. Give me one second. What you do, man? All right, I'll see you in a few. Uh, sure. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Probably could handle this still. So. Next one is uh, pin 30, 30, 32 and 33. I think it's 32 and 33. Yep, 32 and 33. So from here, there's some 28, 29, 31, 32, right there. 33.
All right. Yay, we did it. Now, th those have been lifted right now. It does, right? Uh, just want to make it look clear as possible. Oh, wait, there's one more. God damn it. One more, one more leg. I gotta lift up uh, pin 39 over here. Okay, it's separated now. Cool. Uh, that was a bit of a nail biter right there. So what you do uh, from here is uh, you take all these legs that you just bent and just ground them to the pad. Uh, here and take the other the other uh, three legs and just do the same thing. Uh, there's a bridge right over here. Uh, let me move this closer. I think I'll be better if I do this closer. So I bridged it over here. What you're gonna do over here is just get a uh, your solder sucker. Just remove that. Like so. Ah. down over there. Those are uh, mounted down. Okay. This last one over right here, pin 39. Just do the same thing with this last leg over here. And then uh, bend it towards uh, the pad. Apply solder and as you can see, it's uh, all grounded down at this point. God damn it, bridge again. I think from here. It should be good. Stop bridging, god damn it.
All right, and so from there, I think uh, we got it down. Whew. Okay, that is uh, not so fun. <laughs> All right, so we got all the points down over here. Uh, let me go uh, scrub this out. And uh, sometimes, yeah, but I have to look for the bridges. Just uh, uh, just give it a nice little scrub, clean it up. Some bridges right over here. I'll just remove that here. Clean this up here. Okay, keep it nice and even. Those are, uh, that is, uh, done here. I'm gonna take a quick picture here. And... Now this is this really important part that I really uh, that I missed uh, doing. Now, I'm supposed to uh, add uh, add some uh, caps to remove the gel bars. seven microfarad caps uh, there's two points you got to put to it uh, even this is uh, plagued with jail bars like like PC engines has a jail bar issue on it so what you do is Two uh, sides of the caps you got two caps you gotta remove and then replace. Uh, 709 right over here. Move that. And then uh, on the front, uh, 715. Remove these because you, you if you're doing a composite mod, uh, you're definitely gonna go see jail bars on them. Guaranteed. Or even RGBs. So with this, just uh, just tin it. Uh, use your solder wick. Remove it. Remove this shit here too. And then take a uh, four point seven microfarad, and then just put it right over here. All right. These are small ass caps. Um, whoopsies. Take that out, put that in there, and then this uh, new part over here too, do the same thing. There you go. Whew. All right. Now that we have this done, yay. 
Uh, we could start uh, wiring it up now. Ow. Clean this up, clean this part up. I'm going to clean this part up. And with that said, we will uh, wire, wire up uh, power and ground to the board. And then the composite signal is right up there. We need to wire that up as well. Let's use this. Uh, just give me a second. Got a got some breathing room over here. Yeah, that was a little bit stressful. <laughs> As you can see, it uh, could be a little bit tedious you know, for, for this type of job. Oh, that's a different one. C-Sync is, um, is pin 44 on, uh, on the Hue 6260, like, pretend you're doing, like, an RGB job, um, for, um, uh, for the PC Engine. And then on that part of it is, uh, pin 44 for C-Sync. More music on. Get the regular uh, bread and butter and lo fi hip hop. Okay, so from here. Um, you want to wire up uh, powering ground so the board gets uh, some sort of gets powered up. So what I would use is let's see. Let's cut off a little snippet up here. Take a little bit of this wire here. You don't need much. Um, and just try to figure out where's my multimeter at. Hmm. Pretty sure I had my multimeter here somewhere a second ago. I don't know where the hell I stuffed it at. at. I just had it not too long ago. I just was just, just using oh, there it is. I was using it to test uh, for continuity earlier. There isn't much uh, documentation for it. I, uh, trust me. I, I figured it out. I was able to figure it out. Luckily, I need to document it one day. So five volt is somewhere. I got to remember what five volt is at. Okay, so 5 volt would be right over here. So you would take a small wire, small 30 gauge wire. Like, you know the crazy thing is it's like they don't provide documentation on, uh, on the product that they sell, which is kind of whack, I guess. 
but hey man so it is what it is though all right so right over here This part over here, cut this over here. Try to tin up a uh, this, this, this. Okay. And now you take your five volt. You need five volt and ground to uh, power up the composite board. So, so you take that. Try to run it over here like like so. Just snip off a small portion of it. Wonderful. And then apply some flux. Get this uh, other end of the wire. Sometimes I'm lazy. I don't have a toothpick for it though. Yes. Okay. So that's that. It's a five volt line, and then get your. Uh, Ground signal, which you can put pull uh, pull from uh, this cap right here, should lead you to ground or something. Or even over here, yeah, ground is fine over here, I guess. Check this for continuity again. Just to make sure. So ground is right there. So just put a ground, a wire for ground over here. I'm gonna keep this really nice and short though. All right. So right around here. Yes. Keep this nice and short. Let's trim this uh, guy down. Yeah. Okay, and then just trim off this little wee bit right here. Okay, now we just have like, a small little piece of uh, piece of wire for ground. More things getting in the way. Uh, this is irritating now. Okay, cool. Now this part over here, the job would be a little bit stressful. And then once you have this done, you could actually put this back together now. So put this back together. And then uh, just take your uh, screwdriver and just put this off there. Okay. 
So before I uh, start uh, organizing the wires, I'm just going to do like a test run to see if I'm uh, getting any signal at all on this board before I start art organizing it. So one over here, squeeze back in. Okay. All right, so we, we got to take a... Uh, uh, I think let's just separate I, I think it would be better if I separate the lines from here yeah fuck it I'll just separate the lines it'll just make my life a lot easier if I do it from here I like to use the ribbon like just to make it nice and tidy but as, as, as you can see it's a little bit uh, harder to do it so let's uh, start of the composite signal right over here. This right here. Uh, just loop this back over here. up too, I guess. Before I even do that, just put the shielding back up. But I guess the back side of it, I'm just going to leave it uh, as is. Just back over here. Close up uh, these points over here. Damn, there's so much shit in the middle. Oh yeah, just uh, put it, closing this up. Just away. Right over here, just close these uh, at the points back to the shielding. Over here, and right over here. here. So that's done. Uh, now that you have the composite signal uh, out over here, just put this back together just to tidy it up. back together. Okay. Put your uh, switch back over here too. Okay, just pop that back. And now with uh, this, we gotta make like a, a harness for it though. Oh. Make a little mini uh, harness for it. So over here, uh, we're gonna have to cut this uh, little connector out. This will uh, help, you know, show the signals for it. So this red wire here is a uh, 12 volt or 9 volt or whatever. Uh, these two black wires are uh, ground, and then uh, this one is uh, composite. What I like to do is there, there's a signal, there's a uh, an additional wire you need to wire up from this end of it, and it's the 5 volt line.
So what I would do over here, specifically on this uh, LCD board, there's a 5 volt line you want to grab and wire onto uh, the system. Where are you at? Move it out of there, remove that shit. Alright, so right over here, this is uh, the 5 volt uh, line. So take your stripper, strip this shit. Dip in flux as always. Keep this part up, this leg up here, and then uh, just apply. Uh, just put the five volt right there. Okay. Now everything else at this point, you want to connect it connect these uh, accordingly so with the 5 volt uh, we already have that uh, settled let's uh let's get these all connected up I guess I'm gonna use some heat shrink too okay that's that Shielding for it though. No. No, you don't. You don't need that. Reading and doing is two different things, dude. Like, it's uh, that part. No, you don't. You don't need it though. Honestly. Let me see. Okay, so. What we're gonna do over here, all right, back to this point. Let's just uh, take this point over here. And just uh, strip, strip them. So strip each one of them individually. Take this back over here. Oh, well, afterwards, afterwards. Dip it in flux. And then uh, heat this part up. No, you don't need to uh, shield it. If, as long as you get like double grounding on, on the, the signal, you're good. So, ground it twice. So I have like two ground wires over here, right? One, two, peel them off. You don't need to shield the cable again, so, uh, let me see. So you just take uh, the other ends of these, strip them. I think it used like good wires obviously, like like about 28 gauge. Uh, so that the signal's better on the analog side of, of things. Okay, that's that. Oh, that hit me hard. Okay, so with that said, you just take your wires, uh, take the thing, and just now that you prep them, just connect them together. Uh, except for the five volt line, that's going to be going on uh, something else. Gonna be using these two, right? 
So we'll take that, and then, and then just connect to this point over here. Okay. So you can splice them together at that point. It's nice and straight too, so. It also depends on the driver board that you're using too. I mean, where is it at? Kind of just get this part here, and then uh, good. Okay, there you go. Now get uh, the heat shrink that you just got really really small one cut like two three four pieces over here put this over here get your uh, lighter out get that ready This board has like two ground signals. Uh, the more ground signals, the better. If you want, if you want like a uh, be cleaner, si uh, better signal without any noise or interference on it. Ow. Okay, cool. This part here is, should be good. Yep. Get it over here. Take this end of it. Just. that up too. Now from here, the center of it, you just uh, plug this over here. Yeah, it is a uh, extremely intensive mod. <laughs> uh, I like doing these. They're 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 a huge challenge, I guess. Really big challenge. Too. Uh, it can be stressful, you know. Like like occasionally, I'll just take like a, a quick break or a quick uh, five minute breather or something. Well, breather, I mean, you know, by having a, a puff of smoke or something. that off. Try to feed this over here. Feed these over there. The other end of it. It's probably why the cost of it, you know, is, is, is so it makes up for it though. Like think about the cost that I'm charging. See, as you can see, it's a bit of work, you know, just to get the shit done. So we need to connect this point over here. Like, it's a it's a pretty uh, if it's done right, it's done good. Like, but you got to make sure that it, it has to be done correctly to tin this part and then, uh, get this end over here. This uh, composite signal. Snip this end off. So we have, uh, I have my other uh, plastic piece here. Oh, here it is. Cool. So I take this part over here. And then 
right over here. Right over here, we're just going to splice it, uh, solder these two together. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Sometimes there's a reason why I charge a price, you know, like if it's a little bit, uh, for what, I, for what the, worth, uh, the work is worth, um, I think, you know, it feels fair. Oh, whoa, this is way too big for, uh, for Boz Wire. Way too much. So, you know what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to wrap this over here. And then wrap this over here, and then then feed it through. Okay, now that makes sense. Now. Okay, so we gotta wrap this over here, and okay, that that works then. Fuck it, that works out perfectly. Either way. Okay, cool. Oh, what happened? <laughs> yeah, you're back. Okay, so over here, that's that. Um, uh, this wire, this uh, composite signal has been routed. So we'll just take these other wires that we have over here and then just feed them through this side along with the, this other line over here. We're almost at the home stretch, so uh, almost done. Good job. <laughs> You're funny, Ryan. You know, this is what I can see you as. Is this you? Let me let me let me show you again. Okay, so let me uh, just uh, heat shrink this shit up too. Put some, put some heat on it. Okay, so that's that. Just uh, clean this up, make this look nice and tidy. Shorten it over there afterwards. So what we do over here is wire up uh, the remaining uh, signal, uh, the re remaining wires of it. There's a lot of slack on this. I might have to shorten this up a bit. Um, so this here is uh, the ground signal. So what you want to do is take a this brown wire here. Let's take that signal and wire it up to the ground point on it. Uh, so ground point's right over here. This is a ground point. This uh, hole that's been populated. I mean that was in a, that I had to remove earlier for the shielding. Take your uh, flux, dip it in there. Put uh, add that in there, and then your chisel. 
Okay, that's that. Um, this is this red wire that was connected uh, earlier towards over here. That is. Oh man, you had to be like one of those rich kids to have one, and like a baller. And so this white wire over here uh, goes into the middle pin, which is uh, the seven volt line. I believe it's a middle pin. Let me uh, don't quote me on that, but let me double check just to make sure. Yeah. Okay. So, middle pin. Correct. Oh, excuse me. This goes into the middle pin of the switch. All right. So shorten this up. Alright, this over there, strip it, prep up the point, well, that, prep up the point, over here, okay, disregard the gunk, get the shit in there, it's in there, alright, now next up is, uh, is the other ground wire, this you can feel free to put anywhere. Um, I would just put it right over here where the other part is at. Uh, right over here on the bottom of the shielding. So if you want like, if you want uh, just to have like insurance uh, just for the grounding for, for not having any birds and stuff like that, just put it right over here where double ground that shit, you know? You could do shielding and stuff, but I usually double ground that shit just in case. I remember Turbo Graphics when I was a kid. I didn't know what it was. I remember seeing my cousin have one. Uh, they got they got one in their crib, and I wanted to play it. And the first thing I saw was like a uh, Legendary Axe. Uh, who's that? Oh, thank you, Stevie. Yeah, that that stuff was kind of rare. And I remember playing it when I was three. I didn't realize what it was. The Legendary Axe uh, too. Until some asshole, like, did, he, he brought, like, unfortunately brought some people over that, you know, like, wasn't supposed to. And they went over there and raided his house and stole all the shit. And I was like, what the fuck? So, I remember playing that shit. That was my first turbo graphics experience. Thank you. Uh, and so, yeah. Okay, so we have one more wire to run, okay? The last wire over here is extremely important. Uh, that is a 5 volt line. Whether you're doing a RGB, uh, composite, or any of the other mods, this is your 5 volt uh, line right here, alright? So like this fat little piece, apply solder over here, it's your 5 volt, and then let me uh, put this, get this over here, shorten this up. That will be a 5 volt signal, okay? And that is the best signal to go through because it's, uh, it's through the regulator. Yeah, it was kind of fucked up. I mean, but then again, it was my cousin, the dumbass, uh, for, uh, for bringing people over unexpectedly. Okay. You just wire right there. And... Last but not least, uh, just finish up uh, this part over here, the ground point, and then we we are gonna fire the shit up. Yay! And from here, we should have uh, we should have something going on. So let me uh, let me just take a quick picture of this. Take a snapshot. Uh, I'm kind of excited this is all done, yay. You know, before I even do that, let's uh, let's test this out before before I uh, celebrate first. Make sure that everything works before before anything. Oh, 
shit then. Uh, my hue card. Yes, let's grab my hue card. And then from here, we should have light right over here. It's a bright light, so that means that's a good sign, okay? So from here. Did it, did it, did it. And we have light, okay? Let's put a. It's just that's your composite signal, all right? Good, great way to test the game, and it's pretty clear. There's no jail bars. Um, it looks better in person if you look at it. Like if I'm, if I'm using a microscope just just to like shoot through this. Yeah, it's a huge improvement over what you saw earlier. Uh, let me uh, uh, take another game. Like, what do you guys have in mind? Let me see. Let's do uh, something. Let me see if I turn this off. Oh, even better. Wonderful. I can turn off the thing. It's uh. Do some rare as game. Whoa! No! 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 no. This one. Ah. Fine. I'll I'll do that then. Echo. Echo. What? What echo? Oh, it's because of the soldier braid. We're gonna get soldier braid out, right? Soldier braid. Gives me time to clean up and stuff too. Like, <sighs> let's see. Uh, come on, game, start. Here we go. 